Fast food workers of Reddit, what are some unique concoctions you've made with the ingredients available to you that aren't available on the public menu? Made some pretty interesting blizzards at DQ. However a customer ordered the most bizarre item by far, a chili cheese shake. He came in asking if we could do it as his friend bet him nobody would make one, but if he could get a place to make it, he would eat it. Ordered a large which was 32 ounces. I had the pleasure of making it, however we didn't get to see the guy eat it. I bet it was gross. My dad and I used to talk about making chili cheese dog smoothies as a long running joke. Till, someone mad enough actually did it lol. Former Pizza Hut employee here. Takeover proofed. Unusable dough. Rip it up. Deep fry for a couple minutes. Cover in cinnamon sugar. Boom. Donut bites. I used to do this all the time at one Italian restaurant I worked in. The wait staff freaking loved Ode because they knew they'd be getting some donuts before service. Mio. Used to work in a concession stand at a movie theater. One of my co-workers would make chicken tenders and mozzarella sticks. Stick them in a hot dog bun and slather it in marinara to make a chicken palm sandwich. Totaling $98 in the eyes of the movie theater. When I worked at Pizza Hut we would make the stuffed crust minus the pizza. It would just be a giant ring of cheese and dough. I am still mourning the loss of the taco pizza. Worked at KFC and the biscuits come frozen. We would put them in the fryer instead of the oven and they were the most delicious. Dense buttermilk donuts. Drizzle on some honey and they are awesome. I worked at KFC when the biscuits were first introduced. Before that we served Parker House rolls. How sad they are no longer made from scratch. Fresh out of the oven they were amazing. The crew would make chicken sandwiches with them. I used to work at Wendy's. We poured this special strawberry flavoring that was supposed to be used for a fruity drink into a vanilla frosty. Stirred it up. It tasted amazing. No crap. One of the reasons I came up with this question is because I went out for a late night frosty and saw the mixed berry sauce through the drive through window. I thought to myself, dang, tossing some of that into a frosty would be awesome. Not exactly unique but I left a tray of wings in the oven for too long, not burnt but clearly overcooked. Made up a new trial project for extra crispy styled wings. Went great until someone came back the next day and asked my manager if we had more extra crispy wings in stock. That's unsurprising. I worked at a bar that had so many people who wanted their wings extra crispy. We didn't ask. We just knew that the wings had to come out extra crispy. Used to work at a Taco Bell. We had a large secret menu. 1. Ninja Turtle. Baja Blast and regular Mountain Dew. Looked cool. 2. Mazdaden. Chalupa shell with hard shell instead, coated in nacho cheese, made like a gordita crunch. 3. Mazdaden Supreme, see above with an extra shell, loaded with sour cream, lettuce, tomato, the works. 4. Churro Special, back when the soft churros were a thing, we used to make dessert burritos with them. Breaking an apple pie, 2 churros, grilled. 5. Everything nachos, which was literally everything on the line. Meats, cheese, and all the toppings. Right when the XXXL nachos released we started doing this. We would make these for drive through people who knew what they were if they wanted them. I miss that place man. Night shifts were great shifts, and we came up with quite a few more before I ended up moving. Invisiblest. Baja Blast and Pink Lemonade mixed about 50 stroke 50 turns clear. Used to work at KFC. Took a scoops of potato and made balls out of them. Bread it in the crispy flour batter and cook them through on a crispy strip cycle before pouring a little gravy over the top and eating them. But like big potato gems tater tots potato meatballs comma depending on where you're from. KFC in Australia has these on a menu, it's seasonal so like once a year. They are called mashies. They potato and gravy breaded and deep fried. They're the freaking bomb. I used to work at McDonald's. One of the things people would order was grilled cheese sandwiches. Basically a slice of cheese between two upside down buns that was put on the grill for a bit. They were part of the Canadian menu for Happy Meals until they axed it about 6 months ago. I worked at a Mexican fast food place in the mall when I was 15. They served taco salads, so they had the deep fried shells. It is such a good base for anything. 
you could make any meal you wanted and hide it under a little lettuce, and it would just look like a taco salad. Mostly, I just used it to get around employee meal option limits. Domino's delivery driver. I take a small pizza dough, some alfredo sauce, a whole bunch of cheddar cheese, some pasta, and some bacon. Mix those together and put them on the small dough. Raise the edges of the dough up like a bowl and run it through the pizza oven. When it's done top it off with garlic oil and just a little mango habanero sauce. And you have one of the best mac and cheese bread bowls I've ever eaten. When I was at Pizza Hut we'd regularly stuff garlic knots with pepperoni or other meats. I also enjoyed the meaty marinara pasta with a number of veggies on top. We once made a Kato pizza for a customer. Just threw the meats and cheeses for a meat lover's pizza into a greased pasta pan and ran it through the oven. That looked incredible and I wish I made one for myself. I worked at McDonald's last summer. Put a snack wrap on the grill and made a quesadilla. A sandwich on the bun from a crispy chicken sandwich with a crispy chicken patty. Ranch. White cheddar cheese. And romaine lettuce. Ice cream mixed with a seasonal drink. The cold brew frappe. Worked at Culver's for a year. I'd fill a soda cup 95% Mountain Dew and the rest with raspberry juice from the Sunday bar. Crap was bomb. Local coffee shop had this but with kiwi syrup instead and whipped cream on top. Crap was bomb. Back in my college days, I worked at Domino's. We had pre-made, refrigerated deep dish crusts. One day, I decided to slather one of those crusts in butter sauce and pile on some cheese. It was amazing. And I made them all the time after that. Sort of like a more dense, crispier cheesy bread. And I can't really explain why it was so much better than the cheesy bread that used regular dough. Sadly, I'll never have it again. Since those days, they've killed the deep dish and replaced it with a pan pizza, which uses dough. I work in a dining hall and we make monkey bread with the pizza dough when it's slow. Suru good. I worked at Dairy Queen one summer when I was a teenager. Somehow, we ended up making a mint Reese's peanut butter cup blizzard that tasted amazing. A blizzard is an ice cream concoction with candy mixed throughout, I haven't tried it in years. Not sure I'd still think it was that tasty. I mean, it's technically available to customers but I never once had someone order it. Worked at a cheap movie theater in high school that didn't have anything fancier than nachos available. You haven't lived until you fill up a cup with popcorn and mix in nacho cheese sauce to make the devil's cheese ball. It's not super unique, but we used to make fried pickles and quesadillas back when I worked at Chick-fil-A. Fried pickles. Yes. Worked at Subway in high school and my favorite was stuffed peppers. I'd cut the top off and gut the pepper, fill it with cheese, steak, and chipotle sauce, and then bake it in the oven. Suu good. Lol my old manager would kill me if she ever caught me doing something like that. I worked at a Jersey Mike's for longer than I care to say. Best employees only secret menu thing we had was as follows. Cook a cheese steak with peppers, onions, and jalapenos. Chicken or beef doesn't matter. Crush up a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos and mix it in with the meat while you're cooking. Toast the roll on the grill and put chipotle mayo on the top of the bun and ranch dressing on the bottom. I was a teenager when I last tried it, but I remember it being absolutely delicious and was usually my go-to meal at work. I never knew Jersey Mike's existed until I moved to Texas about a year ago. Dang is it good. That chipotle mayo is on point. My friend works at Burger King. His girlfriend works at Wendy's. At the end of the night they take scraps to feed the friend group. From this the land, cow, air, chicken, and mud, pig, burger was invented which is a baconator made with Burger King's patties, Wendy's bun and cheese, with chicken fries on it and bacon from whoever was able to get bacon. We've also had a small trash bag of Wendy's nuggets once which was great. Unfortunately they are doing health kicks now so they've only been bringing salads and a few things tossed in a bag if they know someone is coming. Wendy's used to make a chicken BLT salad with grilled chicken, lots of tomatoes, bacon bits, and low fat honey mustard. Salads seem healthy, but the dressing can have more fat than a Whopper or Big Mac. Wendy's is these little parmesan crispies that look like little crackers. They'd be delicious on a Caesar salad. I used to work at Jamba Juice in high school. I'd make this chocolate smoothie with fresh strawberries which was amazing. Apple pie. Alright now. 
strawberry, mixed in a cup of ice cream. My dad owns a coffee shop and he's made himself all kinds of weird concoctions but I think the weirdest would have to be the lavender coffee. He would put one shot of espresso into a fairly large coffee mug and fill almost the rest up with a mixture of whipped cream and heavy cream. Then he would hour in an obscene amount of lavender syrup. I would do something similar but in a much smaller cup with two shots of espresso and a reasonable amount of pistachio syrup. Sometimes we got offered new syrups by the company that distributes them so for a while my dad's daily coffee had quite a large amount of cotton candy syrup in it. In Austin lavender and rose lattes are quite popular and super tasty. I usually get mine with only one pump though. Burger diner employee here. A workmate from back in the day had his regular mid-shift burger called the Dirty Double. From bottom to top it contained bun, sliced tomato, lettuce, mayonnaise, two bacon rashers, egg, cheese, grilled chicken breast, two more bacon rashers, another egg, more cheese, beef patty, tomato sauce, another two bacon to complement another egg with another slice of cheese and then finally the bun on top. What the frick how could that even fit in someone's mouth? Does working in a bar count? Used to serve drinks to help pay for college. I was the proud inventor, in my bar anyway. I am sure this has been done elsewhere of, a drum roll, beer pain, pretty much as it sounds, beer and champagne, or cheap but fizzy wine. It didn't really catch on, as it was more expensive than regular beer and tasted worse. Back in my McDonald's days, we could mix orange icy with ice cream mix in our new frappe machine and get an orange cream slush. Movie theater person here. We double the salt and butter during the cooking process and then layer the butter, meaning fill bag halfway with popcorn. Butter it and then popcorn to top and butter again. Every bite will be the same and the butter is spread evenly. Theater popcorn would be better if they had a bin and a basket like the ones for fried food so you could pour the salt and butter over the popcorn then shake so everything gets coated instead of the top getting drenched and soggy. Back at KFC Taco Bell where I worked in high school, we used to make doughboys out of the chalupa shells. If you toss it the fryer by itself and just let it float, it gets kinda puffy and doughy. Then you've got the butter they usually put on the biscuits, and cinnamon sugar for the sinner twists. Boom doughboy. When I worked at Domino's, my friend and I made a Doritos pan pizza. It was kind of slow, and she asked if I wanted to have a pan pizza. I forget why she offered a pan pizza specifically, but hey, she was offering to make us one. She also happened to have been snacking on a bag of nacho cheese Doritos. So I told her that we should incorporate those chips into our pizza. I then proceeded to pound and smush that Doritos bag until the chips were fine flakes and powder. First, I had my friend, she was the front store worker, so she knew how to make all the pizzas. I was just a delivery driver, running the pan pizza dough, except while she did it, I kept sprinkling the Doritos flakes into it. Then we put the pizza sauce on it. I sprinkled Doritos onto that sauce as well. Then the cheese, as well as some toppings, I think it was pepperoni and onions, and then sprinkled more Doritos on top of that. That was definitely the best pizza I've ever tasted in my entire life. Doritos are amazing on pizzas. We do a yearly pie day celebration where people bring toppings and make pizza at our house, and we judge those as well as who brings the best pie. Mine won this year. I did salsa as a base, taco meat on top of that, cheddar cheese, tomatoes, a thin layer of taco sauce, and topped it with crushed Doritos. Toss some romaine on once it's out. It's seriously delicious. I couldn't do much because I wasn't kitchen crew, but I still had all the ice cream. We maintained our machine properly, and Mick ate stuff to work with. Add some Oreo McFlurry mix-ins to the Shamrock Shake, mint Oreo goodness. I had a long shift and a blueberry Red Bull. I took the blend pitcher, dumped in the Red Bull, added some extra shaved ice and yogurt, then made a blueberry pomegranate smoothie on top. Slapped it in a large cup and called it good. Wasn't as a good as a regular smoothie, but better than blueberry Red Bull. Oh I have the perfect one. I used to work at Togo's Sandwich Baskin Robbins 31 place. Slightly more upscale of Subway's Sandwich for anyone that doesn't know. And an ice cream place too in one spot. Seasonally they served barbecue pulled pork sandwiches. They were fine. Nothing crazy. Well the thing was, when we got our produce shipped, 
the pork is separate from the BBQ sauce, and that's when the idea hit me. Conatus Barritos. We had to get pretty creative for it to work. First we use the industrial sandwich presses as our grill as we don't have a stove top or anything like that. Grilled some onions and the pork on it. Then we used the smoothie blender to blend tomatoes. Jalapenous. Cilantro. Lemon juice. Used to preserve avocados. And salt to make the salsa. Then we heated up the tortillas used for salad wraps. At the end we had a pretty good salsa. Grilled onions. Carnitas. And corn and beans mix used in the Santa Fe salad. All wrapped up in the tortilla for a nice Mexican burrito. It was a yearly tradition we did for 3 years before I finally left. Best food off the menu we ever made. Bonus round. I also used to work at an Asian tea cafe place. I invented a drink called the gummy bear. It was an icy slush with a mixed shot of pineapple, strawberry, lemon, orange, and lychee with boba. Literally tasted like you took a handful of gummy bears and shoved them in your mouth. The mix of fruity unidentifiable flavors with chewy boba was great. Also another custom drink was the kettle corn popcorn slush. It was just cookies and cream mixed with taro flavor. Tasted just like kettle corn for some reason. I didn't like it. But the guy I made it for as a joke loved it and only ordered that from then on. Back in my Domino's days I used to make a pizza dilla for me and the crew. I'd make all kinds of things but this was my favorite. Take one large thin crust shell. Fill with various cheeses, bacon, chicken, Frank's red hot sauce. Fold in half. Butter the outside. Run through the conveyor oven. Cut and top with more sauce and ranch. God dang I miss that snack. That's a calzone. Used to work at Papa John's. We made breakfast pizzas. Someone would pick up eggs at the store. We crack them onto the crust. Plus cheese, ham, sausage, onions, and green peppers. Like a giant pizza omelette. Suru good. I worked at a pizza joint in college. I used to make a breakfast pizza. Basically you scramble eggs and use that in place of the marinara sauce. Then I'd add the cheese, ham, sausage and some extra cheese on top. Throw it in the oven. The eggs bake and it's beyond delicious. Also, yes I could flip the dough in the air. That sounds freaking awesome. I bet it's even awesomer on puffy Sicilian dough. While working at Chick-fil-A I made a quesadilla using the tortilla from the grilled wrap, shredded cheese from the salads, and adding shredded chicken. I also made a brownie shake by crumbling up a brownie and adding it into the shake before mixing it together. Add the corn and black bean mix for the southwest salad. Wrap it in the breakfast burrito wrap. Then drop it in the fryer for the lunch fillet timer. While it's cooking, mix spicy salad dressing with avocado ranch. Chick-fil-A chimichanga. They're amazing. I worked at KFC and I would make myself a Chick-fil-A sandwich almost every day. I always had time to marinate chicken tenders in pickle juice for a few hours and then bread them. I'd let them fry for a few minutes and then slap them on some buns with two pickles on the bottom. It was even better if you had the Chick-fil-A sauce to go with it. Made it for my crew all the time. This mouse is looking for friends in the comments comment mouse boy to befriend him. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.